Coming to you live from the palatial studios of PBJ Productions. Welcome to Patrick and BJ Talk Real Estate, where we talk about life, the universe, and everything as it relates to real estate. Hey everybody, it's BJ. And Patrick. And we're here back talking all things real estate and just want to say Happy New Year to Happy everybody. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a great Christmas and looking forward to a great new year. And you know, one of the things about the new year, the government is going to save us from any housing issues. Can they help me lose some weight? I, I'm sure if you call them up, there must be some kind of program or tax that can help you lose weight. I'm sure there's programs out there. You know, I don't know what I'd have to claim, but um, I'm there, joking. There I must could, be a tax. I could do it on my own. I'm on sure. My own. They could have, maybe they're going to make it just for you. They can have a food tax. So if you're going to buy not healthy food, there's a higher tax on yeah, it. Yeah, it's called carbon tax. Okay. <laughs> Right? Oh, we can uh, talk about inflation. Oh, wait a minute. Increasing carbon tax just increases all the cost of everything. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not going okay, to talk about that's that not today. What, that's not what we're talking that's about just, today. Watch out. Oh, uh, today. Might say something. Yeah, today we're talking about this wartime housing measures that, that they're talking about. You mean like a 50s bungalow or something? There's a Vancouver, Vancouver box. Yeah, oh, but that came well, later, and the yeah. DC box came later. Yeah, so l let's understand something. the The whole concept of the wartime housing plan. Um, this is something that goes back to 1946, after World War II, and this is where the CMHC comes from, by the way. Well, right, Canadian uh, Mortgage Housing Corporation. Yep. Right. It was created after World War II in 1946 oh, wow. to help uh, to help veterans. And those got coming through, coming out of World War II, to help them with home purchases and okay. getting on their feet and that kind of thing. Right. So now we've heard, you may not have heard this, but the government, I'm sure you have heard, has announced that they have this war, war measures plan again that they're reinstituting. And their solution is. Okay. Blueprints. Like a Sears catalog. Yeah, they're going to have blueprints. Yeah, well, we, I don't know. I, I, there was a Sears catalog, it, catalog it, back whenever. It was enjoyable. I, I remember. Well, the, sure, in the 40s, sure. But I remember as a kid looking through the Sears catalog at Christmas, right? So that was in the 80s. Yeah. Um, but so there's, there is now a, uh, a blueprint plan. I, I really don't know how that's going to... Um, I think the idea is... So the Wartime Measures Act, when it comes to this like affordable housing uh, idea, that it's the federal government, right? Yeah. They're, okay, fine. Um, to uh, expedite, to speed up the process of permit uh, approvals. So like, you know, you submit your building approval, like if it's yeah. a one-off or if it's in a subdivision and, uh, you know, it takes some time and it costs money, like the, the municipality is going to tax you anyways. Right. But... This isn't so, going to change that. I mean, like, oh, sure, you have a blueprint that's been approved it. by the CMHC. There's still going to be taxes and everything else, and you're still going to have to deal with the approval process wherever you are in whatever municipality you're dealing with. And, and then, yeah, what if you wanted to add, like, a garage? You're like, if, I'll take that yeah. plan, but I want to add more to it or right? something. Or what if I want to do something different or whatever the case might be? Then we're back to square one. Right, you're back to square one. Now, here's the issue. When we talk about affordable housing... 25 to 35 percent 25 to 35 percent depending on where you're at yep. depending on where you're at of the cost of new a new home is taxes which taxes just so everybody has an idea uh, these are all the taxes that the government or pardon me that the developer is paying the government that the builder is paying the government um in in order to build their whatever you're, you're, you want from them. Right. So there's taxes that you're ultimately paying on all of your material. There's, hey, there's a property transfer tax that was supposed to be temporary. Right? Oh, you're... In BC, there was a property transfer tax that was temporary until it became too valuable in the budget that it became a part of the budget and they kept it there. Oh, all right. We'll, we're going to get sidetracked and, just and for we're, a second. If we, were to, if we were to keep rolling through the taxes, that's where we would find all of these different taxes. And the carbon tax... Um, Which so, adds cost to everything. Right? Yep. Yeah. So 25 to 35% of the cost of a new home <laughs> is in taxes. 
Right. So we're talking about like from the developer, it's going to be the develop. It might be called something else in a different municipality. Uh, DCC. So development cost charges. You're going to have amenity fund contributions, um, and then and there's a myriad of other fees that are hidden in that DCC. Sure. And then uh, and then there's the building permit fee. Yeah. Right. And then there's the cost that goes up with the time required to get this stuff done. Oh yeah, because you still have to finance. Like you, st you would probably most likely own the lot already. Yeah. Right before you're, you start yeah. doing these plans, right? Yeah. But then you have, you still have to get approvals. Yeah. You and and that's the big thing, right? Where we're talking about if you want to, if if we want to deal with the housing issue, what we need to do to make it more affordable is make it easier for builders to build. You know what they're looking at as a, as an example to like what's a solution? So Canada, we. Uh, uh, our home home ownership percentage of the population is somewhere between like 60 65 percent of Canadians own the home they live in okay, okay. The rest are renters fine and then I think it's like 30 percent of those 65 percent of homeowners own a second property that could be a vacation property that could be a rental property that could be something else. sure investment yeah. right mm -hmm. um, so they're looking to Singapore which has somewhere almost 90 percent home ownership okay how did they accomplish that? There's so much public housing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how they do that, but their taxes are ex extremely high. Yeah. And the trade off is the government helps out with right. everybody's housing. Sure. Now, I don't think I don't think looking at uh, other countries or California for uh, success models. Certainly not California. Oh, my goodness. But we keep doing this in, other, in, in other ways. I'm not going to get into yeah, it. Yeah, they're like, in an economic disaster. Right, but they're they're about the same sort of economic engine. Uh, like they have the same GDP as Canada. Yeah, and I think I don't know. Romantically, <laughs> they look at California as like, oh, it's beautiful, it's nice, and you know, let, let's see what uh, whatever Santa Monica is doing or something like that. Yeah, for affordable housing, which right. like they're it's a complete utter failure. Yeah, so. so you know, for us, the, 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 the root problem is still the root problem. Regulations, bureaucracy, costs for the builders that don't need to be there, taxes, and, and, and just the time to get approvals. I think about these guys down here in, in the Inner Harbor in Victoria. Yeah. Right? A million dollars, and how long did they go? Before they got an approval, oh, it was ten years. Ten years, right? Yeah, the one you're talking about—that's yeah, yeah. on Wharf Street, right by, uh, right. right by the Johnson Street. Cost a million dollars and took ten years. And there's more examples of that, right? There's the uh, in Vic West. There's the Roundhouse. Roundhouse, yeah. That's still not approved. That's yeah. still been working on for yeah. ten years. Yeah. Right. What was so, it, the one in Oak Bay? They they finally approved some multifamily. Yeah. Yeah. Building there. Right. That's been ten years on the sure. go. There's many so, examples like this. That's not every. That's not the norm. But it, you know, on average, let's say Victoria takes four or five years to redevelop big projects. Yeah. yeah. And and certainly part of that is not just the government because the other side of that is you have to have approval from the neighborhoods. And Victoria is famous for NIMBY. Uh, what is a NIMBY? NIMBY is not in my backyard. Bananas. Build absolutely nothing anywhere, near, anywhere. Uh, some I don't know ever I don't know I forget what it is but the, the so that's one of the reasons you know what, that things are delayed is because there's readings second readings third readings there's um, on and on through the process and all, whatnot and we're not talking about being irresponsible with development or anything like that but w w I, I think we're trying to say you can try and come up with this plan or that plan or now the government's got the the uh, we're talking about here the housing what is it called the housing oh, the, no wartime the, housing wartime yeah housing Sorry, or something I was thinking about missing middle thing which that, that that's going to be another disaster we'll talk about missing middle again an, another, another time, time. Yeah. yeah but really what what this comes down to is this is I, I i don't know how this has been thought through and thought that this is going to resolve any of the housing issues but you, i've said this from the beginning on this channel if you want to resolve the housing issue or at least help the process, you need to make it easier for builders and developers to build and develop and, and make it more cost effective for them because they're not going to, you know, if they're paying an extra 30% in taxes, 35% in taxes, guess where that is going to get recouped? 
Right. And if so, the the end user, the 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 first time home buyer or the brand new home buyer, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, if it costs too much, what do you think they're going to do? They're not going to build. They're not there. They're not a charity. They're yep. there to make money yep. to build their business. Uh, you know, for their family, support their family. Yeah. And if they feel like there's going to be a risk of loss, uh, they might not build. They'll they'll hesitate on yep. building projects. Yeah. So or they'll go somewhere else where the market is a little bit more friendlier to uh, builders. Yep. So Simple you know, at the end of the day, like um, I know everybody wants the prices to come down. That everybody who talks about being able to afford a house um, in a nice place like Victoria or Vancouver, Lower Mainland and other places, Kelowna, whatever, um, you know, these are all nice places. And to scream affordable housing is a, is a, <laughs> you know, nobody wants to lower their house of their uh, price of their house. Yeah, for sure. Everybody you, wants to make the most amount of yeah, money. If you're selling house. your home, right? Right. Yeah. So, you know, and, and not to confuse like public housing versus market housing. Mm -hmm. And I think the conversation gets very skewed between the two. Yeah. So, you know what, let the government figure out the public housing portion out of it. Yes, people need help. They need a, a safety net. But on market housing, you know, it's never going to happen. 100%. It's uh, like, I'm not saying it won't come down 10%, 5%, whatever, but um, it's never going to be like prices 10 years ago. Yeah. Never going to be prices like 20 years ago. <clears throat> sure. Like, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. And even if prices were 20 years ago, um, do you have a down payment? Do you have a good credit? Do yeah. you ha is, is it well, in your budget? Do you make yeah. enough money? Even if it was like a quarter of the price. Sure. I bet and, you, I bet you I'm going to keep going. Well, you know what? Let me, let me put something in perspective. Yeah. Um, friend of mine, they're, the, friends of mine, they're getting ready to sell their home here in the next, I don't know, let's say six months ish, yeah. something like that. Um, so they live just by Royal Oak. So nice area. Yeah, very good. Yeah. You know, a, a reasonable house. And he was telling me how when they bought the house that they were, they felt like they were really going out on a limb and they bought it for 250 And that was a lot. Yeah. When they bought it. Yeah. Right. So of course it was still like, it was a still a significant amount of money for, for that time in which they purchased the home. Yeah. The fact that they're going to get about a million dollars more when they sell it now is good. That's the way it is, right? If more people come to Canada. We have record numbers of uh, immigration yep. that affects housing prices. Sure. Uh, you know, definitely in the major centers. Yep. And then it starts to spill over. Sure. So. But so the price, uh, I guess the other point of that is the price is not going back to 250 for a single family home in Royal Oak or anywhere in the greater Victoria area for that matter. Yeah. Yeah. Who's so. to say 65% ownership in Canada is bad? It's not like a grade. Yeah. Like maybe that's what, you know, with people who want to, or not ready to purchase, like they haven't settled down. Like, yeah. oh, I think I'm going to plant roots here, have a family. Yeah. You know, maybe they're just not ready to purchase. I sure. was in the military for a while and it's like, oh, this is nice over here. And then I got shipped over somewhere else. Oh, that's kind of interesting, yeah. new and nice. And I, I, I wasn't in the mindset of like, I should just buy a house somewhere. Yeah. And if I leave, I rent it out, something like that, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So, well, <clears throat> wartime housing. Wartime housing. Uh, no, wartime housing plan. Is that what it's called? Anyway, whatever, whatever. it's called, <laughs> I, I, you know, that's kind of something that's in the works. It's happening now. The effectiveness of it, I, I think you all can uh, tell what we think about how effective it's going to be <laughs> and what the real uh, yeah. issues are here. So um, thank you all for joining us. Just want to encourage you, if you haven't, uh, please take a minute and subscribe to the channel. We're putting out, what, three, three, sometimes more? Uh, three or more. Three yes. or more videos every week. So um, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Want to make sure that we keep you up to date on what's going on and just talking about what's happening in the market. And there's some Victoria stuff we talk about. There's national stuff we talk about. But just make sure uh, you subscribe and you'll be kept right up to date on everything. And if you want to know anything about moving into the greater Victoria area, or maybe what is your home worth in the greater Victoria area, pardon me, Victoria area, maybe you're like my friends that you bought the house for 250 and now it's, you know, over a million dollars and you want to know what that looks like, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help um, and, and go over some numbers with you or just talk about what's happening in the market. Maybe, you know, I've heard that from people saying to me, what, what is really going on in yeah, this market? Yeah, a lot market? of people are asking right now. Right? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, we're happy to help you with that as well. So, 
Um, and I want to hear what they, what the audience thinks. Will yeah. this wartime housing, the wartime housing, what you, uh, catalog, yeah, yeah. will it make a look of difference? Right. I know I'm framing the question where I don't believe in it much, but but maybe maybe you have a different perspective yeah. you or know, have more information yeah, than think, we do about this. Yeah, and I think that's important because we're open to other points of view. This is not a my way or the highway kind of thing. Yeah, and if I get it you wrong, know. I think we'll make another video. Yeah, yeah. Right? We're, we're happy to talk about it. But um, yeah, put your, your thoughts on there as well. And uh, again, Happy New Year. Happy and New Year. Um, we'll see you next time. Take care. See, see you in the next video.